Well, 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 hello everyone, and welcome back to Story Saturday. My name is Forever Lee, guys, and today is the story of when I had my very first energy drink. So, I was about 10 at the time, you know, back in those days when I was adventurous and actually was really stupid also, but basically I was 10, so... What I would do is I would blindly follow my brothers around all the time. Now, this was not necessarily the best idea, but I did look up to my brothers quite a bit because I am actually the youngest kid in my family. I have two older brothers, and um, I actually did look up to them quite a bit and would honestly follow them around everywhere. And whatever they did, I would do, and whatever they said or suggested, I would be like, well, yeah, that sounds like a perfect idea. So, uh, yeah, that doesn't necessarily mean that's a very good option. But anyway, nevertheless, here we go. Now, I live in a pretty awesome neighborhood. My neighborhood is probably one of the most neighborhoody neighborhoods you could get. So, there's like a lot of playgrounds, a ton of walking paths, a ton of biking trails, you know, all that good stuff to be like the perfect neighborhood. Now, I don't necessarily live in a place where it's like big houses everywhere, but it is a very nice neighborhood and I do enjoy being able to kind of just like walk around whenever I want. Um, so basically what I would do is with all my brothers, we would always constantly walk around the neighborhood. We were like very active. We were like, we got around a whole lot and we would honestly be walking all the time. Um, and we'd also ride our bikes, you know, we would just play around, we'd play at parks, we'd hang out with friends, we'd do all sorts of stuff with our friends. And, um, it was just a lot of fun. It was a really good experience. I do enjoy my childhood mostly for that fact, just that I was able to go around with a bunch of friends and just hang out and, you know, bike and play in the swings and stuff. So those are good stuff. But anyway, it gets down to the time when uh, my brother would actually buy us things sometimes. So we would often like walk to like nearby grocery stores and ice cream shops and stuff and to buy things. And my brother was pretty generous, so he'd actually buy us things all the time. Um, and that was pretty cool. So one time as we were walking, he actually asked me if I wanted to try an energy drink. Now, I actually agreed to this for whatever reason, but probably mostly because I have actually never had one before and I thought it would be neat to try it. Now... Guys, when someone asks you to do something that you don't necessarily want to do, just say no. I'm just going to be that little good voice of influence in your life. Okay, anyway, so we head to Safeway, which is our nearest grocery store, and we go to the drink aisle. And the drink aisle has all sorts of different, like, brands and stuff, and I actually went and I decided, hey, I'll try Monster Energy Drinks, because those are the only ones I actually knew what they were, and that I heard were actually semi-tasty? I don't even know. Um, but anyway, I went to Monster Energy and I actually picked out the orange one. I think it's called like Chaos or something, which, yep, that, that, it lives up to its name. But anyway, so we go, we buy these things, and we leave the store, and I'm basically drinking the entire thing pretty quickly. I finish around five minutes later, so <laughs> that was a really fast time to do that. So don't, yeah, just so we are walking at this point, and we're walking home, and this actually makes the energy drink kick in a lot faster. So if you're active, it will kick in pretty quickly. Um, and so about 20 to 30 minutes later, I feel so energized. I'm like so hyper. So keep in mind that I'm a 10-year-old, and this amount of sugar and caffeine going in my body are like, it's insane. The high levels of caffeine and sugar are just insane, and they're so like prevalent in my body. It's just it's bad. So we get home, and I'm basically literally shaking. I'm, like, completely shaking. I'm like, no, this is this is crazy. This is insane. And um, <laughs> I've actually never drank much caffeine before. I'm actually super sensitive to caffeine, and I try to avoid caffeine as much as possible, even to this day, because I'm just not really a fan of caffeine. Um, I can't really even drink a Coke two or three hours before bed, or else I wouldn't be able to sleep very well. At least this was the case when I was 10, when I actually went to bed at, like, 9.30. Um... But now I go to bed around one, so it wouldn't even matter really. So here I am, I'm in my seat, I'm basically shaking, and I'm like, huh, I need to figure out a way to get rid of all this energy. And so me, being the smart little kid I was, you know, we have like one of those bike, like um, running paths behind us. And so I decide to just go onto that path and completely sprint. So I'm sprinting full force. So I go outside, I'm running as fast as I can, and I'm a really fast runner, I just don't run very fast for long. Like, I can run really fast, but not for long. So with all this energy, I'm basically Speed McGee going down this pathway, and I'm just like running as fast as possible. I'm like sprinting my little legs off. And I actually get to the, one of the ends of the paths. Now we have a road that's like a pretty busy road that's next to our house, not next to it, but sort of close. And um, there's a lot of cars, so they actually installed a tunnel that goes underneath the street so that you can go on in the tunnel and stuff. But anyway, I get to this tunnel, I'm not actually going to go through it, so I basically turn back, and as soon as I stop, like, as soon as I stop by the tunnel, I just feel so weak, and I basically just have this really hardcore sugar crash. Um, 
and I get up and I'm just like walking super slowly back to my house. And as soon as I get there, I just crash on the couch from so much energy that I like built up and then released at once. And the sugar and caffeine for my 10 year old self was still not a good idea. So I just crashed so hard, <laughs> it was bad. And basically I was just feeling extremely tired for the rest of the night. Um, so I went to bed and I still had all this caffeine in me. It was mostly just a sugar crash, but I still had a ton of caffeine in me. And so I actually didn't fall asleep until around 5 a.m. And all this happened, you know, without my mom knowing it. Hi mom, yes, if you're watching, which I'm sure you're not. Yes, we did do this. Um, and <laughs> yeah, she hates energy drinks. She just hates, yeah, she hates them. But uh, anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, I didn't, did fall asleep till 5 a.m. So I was exhausted the next day. Um, and basically, for whatever reason, I actually had three more after this day. Like, I don't even know why I did, but it was probably within the same year. Cause I, you know, just, just that little, kid that follows everyone around it. But anyway, I don't really do that anymore. And I've actually not had an energy drink for about five years at least. Um, and I don't, I don't really drink soda anymore at all anyway, because I'm a basketball player and soda kind of just kills you if you're an athlete. So I not really, I'm trying to avoid that as much as possible. But um, anyway, yeah, guys, moral of the story is don't drink energy drinks. They're so bad for you. It's basically poison to your body. Um, I actually did a whole health project on this for my health class and it really is pretty bad like some of the stuff I researched but yeah guys just don't drink energy drinks and maybe I'm just like that little pansy that can't handle some caffeine and sugar but there is a ton of caffeine and sugar in that thing and I'm like I don't know I'm super sensitive to caffeine anyway so I basically got wrecked from it anyway um, but yeah guys that is my story when I had my very first energy drink now this was a pretty bad experience in my case but maybe not for everyone um, but nevertheless I don't recommend drinking these um, just kind of take the moral of my stories and apply it to your life if you want because I'm just doing a bunch of crap that you guys should be doing. Um, but anyway, guys, yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you did remotely enjoy this whatsoever, please leave a like and subscribe, guys, and I'll see you in a little bit. Bye, guys.